So Samsung have actually released a new app that helps you control your privacy settings. Um, now, you might also be interested in another video I made on how to get rid of the adverts and trailers from playing. Um, I'll link to that uh, from this video, um, but that one is super useful and gets really annoying adverts out of the way. So I'd certainly recommend checking that out. Um, but this one is about a new app that appeared in this menu. So it appears in the recent menu. Now, it may or may not be there by the time you get to it, um, but have a look through the apps. It will have been forcibly installed by Samsung together with BritBox for some reason. Um, so if you go into Privacy Choices, that app, it will load up and give you two options. Privacy Center gives you a lot of information, not a lot of settings to choose from in there. Uh, I don't think there's anything you can really do, um, but it's this terms and conditions that you'll be interested in. Now in here, um, there are T's and C's that you can view, um, big lengthy legal things, um, but you'll be interested in looking in consent status for these three options. So if you go in here, these options you may have set up when you first got the TV, or you may have poked around their um, settings menus and unticked some of these options and changed those. But if you haven't ever looked in there, you may want to and have a look at whether you agree to uh, sharing your data with Samsung. So that's that one. You can untick that without affecting the TV at all. And this advertising one as well, you can untick that. and voice recognition services, you can untick that if you don't use them. So it's nice that Samsung are making it uh, a little bit more obvious that uh, you can change these settings um, and there's an app to do it. Um, so at least there's that, um, but it'd be nice if they didn't push all these trailers and advertising onto a TV that you've bought um, uh, for a lot of money and then they still advertise to you. Uh, I know a lot of other manufacturers are doing this, Sony does it um, and others, so it's not just Samsung, but uh, at least have a look through this app, see whether you're happy about the data it's collecting and uh, maybe think about opting out. Thanks very much.